But Boosie didn't stay that long enough, man. They put him on a tier. Um, you can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. All right? You can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. So he wasn't on death row per se. He was on a tier by itself, the old death row, when they built the new death row. You, you ran into some celebrities while you were locked up, like uh, C Murder and Bootsy, right? How was Bootsy when you ran into him? Um, I seen Bootsy probably twice. Um, and that was basically just because me and C Murder was like, for like, like 15, 20 years, you know what I'm saying? The whole time, um, like we was really rocking because we already knew a lot of the same people before we met. Same thing with Bootsy. I didn't really gel, but I didn't really, because he, he wasn't down there with us. Like, he wasn't, uh, see, Murder had already then came out, they, but everybody go through that. Like, when you a celebrity or you got a high-profile case, they might, they, you're not coming, I don't care who, who you, what you say, you're not coming to that population with us. You got dudes who done killed four, five dudes in prison. They don't give a fuck about your rap name and all that bull. That's rap shit, nigga. These niggas do this shit in real life. You know what I'm saying? Then these niggas walk up to you with two knives, they'll throw a knife at your boot and say, nigga, shit on my chain, nigga, uh, uh, blood on my knife and shit on my dick. That's how them boys was coming, so they ain't wanna give a fuck about no rap name. Damn. So how, for Boosie, and I know you heard the story as far as what Boosie said, that he was, uh, you know, I believe he said he, like, I started off, they wanna put him in PC, he chose to go to, uh, you know, uh, general population. Um, they you say by nature because you're a celebrity, they have to put you in PC. Well, that was Burl Kane's policy. Uh, even the Black Rhino, the Black Rhino for Mike Tyson, he had to go on lockdown before he, he couldn't just come straight down the walk by them dudes, man. Yeah, just because he fought Mike Tyson, yeah, he, just because, yeah, he was his leg, he considered his leg, yeah, he fought Mike Tyson. So then, you yeah, that nigga was he knocked a few, slid a few, he still up there sliding a few of them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, nah, so, for real. I'm saying sliding them niggas, shh, <laughs> that type of shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it, it's like they're not, you're not, you're not coming down there around it like not like that. Not unless until the warden know that you could really handle yourself. But Boosie didn't stay that long enough, man. They put him on a tier. Um, you can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. All right, you can't be on death row unless you're convicted of a capital offense. So he wasn't on death row per se. He was on a tier by itself, the old death row, when they built the new death row. So they had him on the tip by itself. They were neglecting him from his diabetes medicine and stuff like that. So they are let only selective orderlies go back there and give him his food and stuff like that. And so uh, he'll be complaining about, man, they ain't give me this, they ain't give me that. So them dudes will come down the, down the walk to dudes like me. And, hey, man, they don't want to So we'll go to the wall and be like, hey, man, go, go check, see what's happening back there. You know what I'm saying? With Torrance, bro. You know, all the partners that I fuck with that, that really no boost and mess with them pretty, they call them boo. You know what I'm saying? Be like, man, go, go check on boo, man, and get, make sure he get what he, what he need. You know, so it was just a lot of dudes just on GP and respect that was making sure that he was straight and that wasn't even in his presence that he don't even know, you know?